Hey guys, gonna talk about the UCO candelier. I'm not talking about the UCO candelier. Hey guys, this is Wow Willie, and I was just uh, showing you Bluetooth, what it is on this radio, what it sounds like. I'm not gonna play any proper music because I don't have a license. So, anyways, let's talk about. Let's get into this. this is the Ivation Emergency Everyday Use Radio, and I say emergency and everyday use because it's both. This isn't for your just throwing in the prepping backpack and leaving it and throwing the emergency kit. This is a radio you can use every single day. So let's get into it right now. Ivation is known for their hand crank smaller radios. Uh, this is just a bigger version and we'll go over everything it has to offer. Obviously it has Bluetooth. It's an AM FM radio also with NOAA and weather alert. I will say the sound on this thing is crystal clear, especially compared to some of my larger radios I have. Um, for under 100 bucks, this radio is excellent sounding, excellent reception, uh, built-in antenna for AM, telescopic antenna for FM, and for the weather bands. Uh, the weather alert just means if you have the weather alert button on here, you turn that on, which is right there. Um, you can be listening to your radio, whatever. If there's an alert on the weather band you're listening to, it'll automatically beep off a siren and switch on to the weather alert uh, station, the NOAA station, that particular one you're tuned into. Now... Negative side is this doesn't have same technology, specific area management and coding, so I can't zoom down to a certain city or town, but it's still weather alert just in general is a great thing to have and your local NOAA station covers a big enough area, chances are you're going to be affected or might be affected by the alert itself. Several way to charge this guys, um, on the top it's got a 9 volt solar panel which you'll leave directly in the sun and she'll charge up. They're saying at 38,000 lux, it takes about uh, 45 hours in indirect sunlight. That means if you didn't have this thing in the sun, you just had it in a, in a, in a light atmosphere, like on your kitchen table near an open window, it would, take, it would take up to 45 hours to charge this. Direct sunlight, it's a heck of a lot sooner. It also has the dynamo crank, 5 watt dynamo crank. The thing runs smooth as glass, beautiful. And if you're not happy charging things that way, it also on the back, it has... You flip this open, it has your micro USB port there. You can charge this in with a USB cable. You'll see this bigger one here. That means for cell phones, guys, you can dump charge into your cell phone. Now, granted, the battery, the rechargeable batteries in here, which are very easy to get to, unscrew and replace if you needed to, the rechargeable battery here is only one 3.7 volt battery. So that means if you have an iPhone 5 or 6, you're probably going to charge it from empty maybe uh, once and a half, almost two times but you're not going to get more than that. They're saying on this radio that when it's fully charged, you can get three to five hours of run time, 90 days of standby time. So that's, you know, that's in, in your house and no sunlight. Now, I had this outside in the backyard the other day, having the, the sun on this while I played the radio. It ran for like seven and a half hours, and this the battery indicator didn't even budge. I also had just on weather alert and left it in the window, tilted up towards the sun, and same thing. It's been on weather alert for two days and the battery hasn't even budged. A couple other great features, guys, you'll see here. Uh, right now it's on Bluetooth mode, but it is digital tuning, which is kind of cool. And up top here, not only does it have the time, but it has the day, the month, the year, and also um, the thermometer. Right now I think it's saying, I can't read it from this way, 62 degrees or 66 degrees in my house. That's set on Fahrenheit 65, sorry. Uh, you can set it to Fahrenheit and Celsius. Now, this radio is designed for the person that's outside working. It's a job site radio, but I mean, if you're in the backyard doing your gardening, you're sitting by the pool, you're going to the beach, you know, you're taking this up to the cottage or camping or in the boat, this is a perfect radio. It's built rugged. It's a hard plastic with rubber, rubber and plastic all over it. Um, IXP of 5, which means out in the rain, it's not going to hurt it. You're not going to submerge this, obviously, but to sit in the light rain, it's not going to do any damage to it. The, everything's great. It's, way, it's a, it's a well-built radio. It feels feels sturdy. It weighs, I'm going to say, probably around the 4 or 5 pound mark, but it's a well-built radio. On the sides, you got the, uh, the moving uh, LED flashlight, which also goes into the red SOS. Just another bonus, but for a general all-use radio, guys, that you can use every day, but also have the safety of a flashlight, have the ability to listen to weather emergencies or weather emergencies chime in, and also having a multiple charging system via the solar panel, via the USB, via the solar crank, and having the ability to charge your cell phone via dump charge, via the solar, and also via the solar crank, 
or the the dynamo crank rather is an excellent option to have this is the this is you know it's a not a one-way weather radio it's this is a multiple use radio every day but it has the ability to be emergency radio as well they come in a couple different colors and once again on amazon for under 100 bucks you will not be disappointed with this the sound is crisp and the functions are amazing so once again this is the i i uh, ivation emergency multiple charge radio i don't know what you want to call it but it's it's a radio for the prepper it's a radio for the the camper it's a radio for the cottage or the boat or the beach or the picnic or everything it's a good multi-use radio with a lot of great features but anyways i'm wild willie and i'm gonna get trucking remember it's not a question if the shit it's a fan it's a question when so always be prepared